Hey everyone, welcome back to the sorcery playthrough for Elden Ring. I'm currently fighting this troll for no reason while heading to the cave uh, slash dungeon at the bottom of this area to continue the quest line with the what you call it, Bok I think his name is. So a couple of things have happened since the last episode, you know, I mentioned that I'm going to be streamlining this playthrough. Uh, one thing I completely forgot is that after you hit three sites of grace, Rani shows up when you teleport back to the main church to give you the spirit color bell. Well, I kind of wasn't recording, so that part I did miss, but you get the idea. We can now summon spirits and we have the wolf ashes. I think I'm going to like try exploring some more of these spirits. I will actually have the MP this time around to use them, so we'll see. Plus, of course, you can't deny how useful it is that uh, fucking the Mimic tier, for example, has infinite MP. And I also went to the cave that has the Beastman of Farmazula. You know, that's like the first little cave you can sort of go to. Uh, and I did that. Got some souls out of it, which I think I will use eventually to level up, obviously. But yeah, I think... Let's just carry on. We have the merchant here. And I don't remember where the hell the entrance is. What do you, need? I don't want any trouble. What do you sell? Broadsword... La <laughs> Lance Quartz. Cool. Um, hmm. See, I kind of don't want to spend shit on this. Yeah. Cool. Anyways, what of course I could also do with this amount of runes is also buy some spells, but... Those are sort of kind of expensive currently. I'd rather be sort of pumping up my level at this point because well our stats are not great to put it lightly they are not great which is of course to be expected if you're playing a mage I don't expect to be super OP but where the hell is this cave entrance I'm in the right place aren't I because uh, I totally thought it was over here. Hold on. Let's just speed things up along. Oh yeah, people were telling me about these like invisible uh, dung beetles. Apparently they contain pretty useful stuff. Like ashes of war and shit. Let's try to get one. God damn. I wonder if they go along a straight path or like a predetermined path. I think they do, which means, yep, fucking, <laughs> ah, all right, wait for it to loop around, unbelievable, I can't seem to hit it, even like this, strange, oh, hello there, Oh, you're an enemy. Shit. Get pew pewed. I didn't know this was even here. There's a lot of damage. Useless. Cool. Alright, I'm actually gonna try finding this cave now.
Ah, there it is. It was just difficult to see. Yeah, th that is difficult to see, especially when it's nighttime. Cool, cool, cool. And man, should have picked up a torch before coming here. Because this is dark as hell. What a box. Sorry, I'm just gonna hit up this grace here, if you don't mind. Uh, what should we get? See, I have an instinct to pump up my mind because... But int would also work. Something like this. We do need a lot of mind and we do need a lot of int. I think the highest spell in this game is like, what, 70 strength? So we're gonna be busy boys pumping that int up. Man, do I have a solution to that. It is called R1 and Glintstone. Don't worry about that Bok. God, you really can't see shit in here, can you? It's daytime too, where I am, and there's a little bit of glare too. I'm so screwed. Bro. Go to Ikea or something. Pick up some lamps. This is quite a battle here. Luckily, you have insane amounts of stamina in this game. So it it ain't even an issue. And I think this this should already be it, right? Oh wait. Let's go back. Old Knight Istvan, that's a Hungarian name. Let's summon this bro. I didn't know there was a fucking cooperator here. This guy is gonna make things so easy. He has some, what is, he has, I think he has my old weapon, right? Yeah, he does, the Omen Cleaver. What up, Istvan? It's like the most like a regular ass name. What up? What did I tell you? Can I pew pew? Of course I can. Try and try not to get fucked up. Okay, I'm coming to your rescue, don't worry. This is, we're playing a proper MMORPG. We have running spell support. You know how it is. Yeah, that guy is making things very easy. And that's putting it lightly, I think. And yeah, people keep telling me that you can charge your spells. But I don't think you can do that with like the regular ass glintstone pebbles and all that. Cool. Come on, Ishtvan. Ah, idiot. Do they not know how to do counterattacks? Yeah, that was mad easy, obviously. <laughs> Very good, though. Um, oh, and he's still going at it. I salute you. You've proven yourself to be very useful. Yeah, that's one thing I like didn't do in my first playthrough. I didn't really uh, summon too much, like the NPCs. The NPCs, some of them are pretty interesting in this game, except for Melina. Oh fuck, how am I gonna get back? Do I seriously not have a torch? I seriously do not have a torch. I'm so screwed. Ah. <sighs> That is a grave oversight. I'm so used to just having the little lamp, you know, that I completely forgot. Oh, we can go back to the entrance from here. I think that's not gonna hit up the... I guess it's not gonna respawn everyone, is it? Hopefully not. Let's find the BOC. Talk to him. Bro. Oh, okay. 
Alright, I was worried. I don't even know what he does, uh, but we'll find out during this playthrough. He's adorable. Let's crouch down to his level. We can't. No, you can't. Cool. Um, I'm gonna run to the other side, try to find my way through again, and just hit up the dragon communion thing. Those are... Ah, oh, they do respawn shit. Okay, I'll just run. Um, those are faith spells, or like, yeah, faith-based spells that you can get there. But still, I wanna hit it up, because why not? Uh, we might as well. So Bach, definitely going to be prepared to cry. Like, I'm well versed in Souls lore. Ah, oh, shit. There we go. Yeah, because my recording screen is brighter, so I can, like, cheat through there. So yeah, I'm well versed in Souls. That is definitely prepared to cry material right there. Like, you can't even deny it. It is the most obvious, like you can almost call it prepare to cry bait. Uh, this is quite an interesting way of playing souls, let me tell you. Looking at the game through your recording screen, which happens to be bright. And I could just turn my TV's brightness all the way up, but I am too lazy to do that. Excelente. This is a nice area. I do like this little island. It feels very peaceful you're sort of protected from all the bs on the mainland all right hit up this and then we can get going i never really explored this thing with the with the altering of garments you can do it to the robe, and it costs money, so it makes things lighter, but lowers all the resistances. Like, I'm okay with this set, I think it looks good, but yeah, this is what you can do. You can put, like, capes on, and it changes the stats just a tiny bit. Uh, mm, I don't know, man. I don't know. I feel like Int... Let's do Vigor. I'm a sucker for that Vigor. Yeah, we can't really do anything here. As you can see, Faith and Arcane. But that's okay. Alright. I think we're gonna visit Selen just a little bit. And then head down into this area. Let's just think about this. Uh, I really want to get Scholar's Shield. I feel like this is going to be... Yeah. Like, Magic Shield and Strong Magic Shield in any Souls game tends to be OP. Especially Strong Magic Shield, which I don't know if there is an equivalent to in this game. And since enemies hit so hard and probably our HP and defense will generally be low, I think think that's gonna be a good a good investment eventually I don't have the runes for it but well, you get the point all right so I'm gonna head down to like whatever this area of Leornia is called this like side hustle right here I think mixed physic is gonna be important as well as Apparently there's an NPC quest line here that I missed. You, you just have to go along the main road. From what I've heard. I don't know why I just killed this group of randos, but yeah, whatever. The 
George is somewhere over here, right? Along this path. I think so. Hey, what's up there? What the hell are you talking about, bro? Anyways. It's pew pew some demi-humans. Alright, chill out, chill out. We're getting to you. We're getting to you. I'm just... Slightly busy here. God, you guys are fast. Alright, is... It's, yeah, he's up there. Okay. Did he just like stuck there or whatever? Oh, God, he just keep he just keeps repeating the same shit. You don't need to worry, bro. I'm getting to you. Like you saw what I was doing. All right. Can we shut you up? His clothes are very fancy. Racist against tarnished. <laughs> On that fort, I've been there. You're pushing it, buddy. Largess? What the hell? See, he knows what's up. Actually, interesting lore. God, everybody keeps roasting <laughs> fucking Godric. Uh, Godric can't catch a break. Like, oh shit. Am I dead? Oh no. I was worried for a second. Godric really can't catch a break, can he? Like, that dude is a bitch. And we're gonna pew pew him to death in a couple of episodes. So, you know, you know how it'd be. God, this is insanely powerful. Not that these are difficult enemies, it's just, you know, you know how it is. Alright, let's move on. This is where we want it to go. Uh, grab that mixed physic flask. Because it has some magical effect. I think there is one, I heard of one, which like reduces all MP costs to zero for a little bit. Yeah. That's gonna be mad good. Like, you know, just pop down and use like a super powerful spell. Anyways, let's talk to Melina. Of course. All opportunities to talk to Bay. Warriors, I 
he will wage war in a land afar, where he will live and die. Well, perhaps that might serve you in lieu of a maiden's guidance. So that's the thing when, like, Godfrey and the Tarnish basically were driven from the land. I think that's like an important bit of lore there for you. Cool. I don't remember. Yeah, there it is. And there's a bear where the map is. Just gonna go pick it up quickly. I still have no idea what the hell these do exactly, but it's not too much of an issue, really. Sorry, bear. I know you're just an animal and all that, but you sort of kind of want to kill me. Plus, apparently, bear happens to be pretty tasty. I don't know why that, that just like came to my mind, but even Babish did bear. You can cook bear in Red Dead Redemption 2. That's all the random factoids I know. There's that fortress. This one, this minor tree doesn't have an avatar. And of course the fort. The question is, do I really want to do this? Like mess around with this? Uh, yeah, I kind of do, because then I can do this with Blight together, uh, which is, I guess, more fun. Definitely more fun. What am I talking about? We're going to sneak away. We're going to have to fight this thing anyways. I don't think you can avoid it. Well, that thing is gone. No worries. Oh, there is a thing here. I don't know why I... Did I not collect this on my first playthrough? It doesn't matter, but... It's weird. I always thought it's like very much tied to the Earth Tree Avatars. Ground Slam. That <coughs> that's the one. That's the butt slam. Jesus. Not very smart either, are you? So yeah, I'm gonna have a look at these. We'll see which one of these is like... Magic based slash related. Because that's gonna be... Pretty damn useful. What? Gold shit. Oh, that's the bear. I was like, what the hell is that rock there? It's not a rock, that's the bear. Hold on. I think I do have a solution to this situation. Uh, this enhances charge attacks. Completely useless, but we literally have nothing better, so... What up? Okay, yeah, I was gonna say. The roar hurts you, and I can't lock on. Fucking hell. Can you be just a little bit less jank? I'd really appreciate it. I'm so fucked. I don't know if you need to kill this thing to get the blight thing. That might be a challenge. 
Because I cheesed this thing. Maybe if I... If I go back down while already being locked on. Yeah. No. It... The... It locks me out or unlocks. Whatever. Can't even talk. What the... I feel like that was slightly unfair. Just slightly. Um, shit. This thing might be a little bit difficult. Oh, come on. What kind of fucking hitbox is that? That doesn't actually deal that much damage. If you mash out of it. Can I just... Yep. Grab this. Cerulean up. Yeah, that's the thing I'm afraid of, that this thing is just gonna, like, grab me and it's gonna, like, teleport me into his, like, hitbox or whatever. Why am I clipping through the... Fucking hell. Uh, that's all I can say. Okay, I got this. I managed to cheese him down. But man, this thing has a lot of HP. Pew pew. Thank you. That was a struggle. More of a struggle than I was expecting. Um, probably, you know, I'm a little bit underpowered for all this, but... It's just how it is, you know. I'm gonna be... Quote unquote underpowered for a lot of stuff. Blythe? You there? He's there. I see you. Cool, that's all I wanted to hear as confirmation. Let's go back. I don't know how, like, again, what I said in my review regarding the quest lines, like, how the hell are you supposed to figure out that this is the dude that gives you more insight? Like, you know, like, w what relation does this thing have, like, this guy have to the howling in the Mistwood? Weird. Like, how? Why? I don't think this guy is related to Rani in any way, or like Rani's questline. But he just knows about Blade. It's a regular romance. We're gonna be, you know, eating pasta like they do in that Disney movie. Alright, cool. These are expensive too, I just noticed. Give me the telescope. The question is, yeah, we can, we can do this. Yeah, I'd rather equip, like, upgrade my staff. My main weapon, you know. And what I'm also, oh yeah, you can talk to Melina here. I forgot. This tiny golden aura is the grace of the earth tree. This light once shone in the eyes of your tarnished brethren, but now is all that guides you. Or so I hear. You can see them, can't you? The rays of grace that guide you through your burden. Can't see it. Know what to do. Don't worry. All right, what can we do here? We have restores half of total HP, boosts stamina, enhances charged attacks. Yeah, like we have nothing better. These two will be sufficient. All right, and of course, now we got to go back. All right, let's do this. I totally forgot that the the fucking bear, this big ass room bear, it respawns 
uh, which was definitely something that caught me by surprise. There he is, like lurking about. I might have an idea on where he is. Cool. All right, let's move on. I'm going to hit up the side of grace here at the castle or before the fort. And then we can go up and do the Daryl thing. I don't know. Yeah, I already killed these things because I walked past. Or I rode past the fort. What up? What is the enemy here in this fort? There's no boss, right? I don't remember there being a boss. But it might have been like... Because I was pretty OP when I came here. It might have been just someone. And I just completely demolished them. Yeah, I do have some stuff to cut out. So we can... We can go on a little bit longer. No worries. God, we're just... Melina is being real busy here. Don't worry about that. You can kick some ass when we get to the capital. Alright, we're gonna, I think, go up. Yeah, let's do this thing with Daryville. Blight can pretty much kill him, I think, himself, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Okay, so I've hit up the side of Grace here, and I really do wonder if he's gonna be here. He should be. Blythe, I mean. He's not. Hold on. Okay, apparently you can summon him, which I'm really curious about because I think this is the only area in the game where you can summon within. Yep within an ever jail i'm really curious how he's gonna do like you know the tactic he's gonna be tanking you've played world of warcraft even though i have not i know that might be like you know how M mmos are Apparently Blight can wreck him alone, but it would be really nice if he tanked some of the damage. It's like Sif on steroids. He can actually walk on two legs. What a badass. Oh, come on. He's really weak to magic. I didn't know he would be this weak to it. But man, does he hit hard. Bruh. And man, my spells are bra like terrible at tracking. Cool. Yeah, he can definitely solo him. There's that OP weapon. Bloodhound's Fang. Everybody uses that shit. Apparently it's really good. You barely get any runes for that, too. 2,000? Shit. He's huge. I really like him. Obviously, Artorias reference, but who doesn't know that? Oh, yes. I should say. If you venture north to 
was a venerable blacksmith with a little on the large side. Tell him I sent you, and he'll be sure to treat you right. I owe you one, I reckon. E.G. E.G. is also a homeboy. Uh, this is gonna explode, isn't it? No, it's not. Cool, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here because I think that's enough content for this episode. Next time we're actually gonna start our journey into this part and eventually get to... I don't know if I'll get to Margit slash Morgoth or whether I'm gonna get distracted with all the side content. But yeah, that's something we'll just have to see. Wait and see. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. If you did enjoy episode 2 of the Sorcerer playthrough, thank you for watching. Make sure to give this video a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications and all the usual. Uh, yeah, I'll catch all of you next time. Peace out and goodbye. Got parrying, it's fucked up in this game. Yeah, peace out.